Hey guys, it's Mix287 here, and welcome back to another Division video. I apologise, it's been so long since my last one. I had a few uh, recording and editing issues last week. So, this week, starting off fresh, I've got everything fixed, and I signed in today, and I got told that I've got some goodies waiting for me at the rewards vendor. So, here it is. I haven't been to see what he's got yet, so... I am going to go and see now. What have you got? Oh, whoa. Lots of weapons. So. Fireman Super 90. Just a load of green stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff. It looks like it's all uh, themed. Um, okay. Well, I'll just take it all. And we'll get into doing. Oh, I'm full. Whoops. Uh, I'll be right back after I have sorted out how full I am. Bye. Anything here I gotta have? Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, we're back again. I've <laughs> emptied out my inventory this time. And let's grab the rest of it, and we're going to start and gander at how some of it looks. Most of the weapons I'm probably not going to use because they aren't as good as what I'm already using. We will whack a backpack on quickly and get right to it. So, yeah, like I said, I had some recording issues before. This is going to be the third time that I try and run this mission. Uh, it's the Madison Field Hospital. It's the first mission you should be doing after you get to, to uh, Manhattan and unlock your base of operations here. So, yeah. It's literally not far. It's literally ju it's just over here, around the corner, and this is it here. Now, because it's the third time that I've done the mission, I need to just hit replay for it. I'll be doing it on normal. No reason to make it any more difficult for myself than I have to. So there we go. That's already. Uh, so also, whilst uh, whilst we're doing this, I'd like to make things a bit clearer with my channel and stuff like that in this episode. That, the last few videos I've done, uh, it's literally just been a case of me saying hi, this is my name, and <laughs> just running through the mission. So, for this time, I'm going to be doing my job properly, and I'll provide some info on the mission as we're running through it. And also, what I plan on doing uh, with the channel and in the future. We need those personnel back at the base so we can get the medical wing functional. Um, also, I'd like to say, as has probably been blatantly obvious with my videos so far, they've been very raw, uh, hardly any editing done to them at all really, apart from a few basic cuts. I will be changing that, uh, trying to put some love and care, more love and care into it, because that's kind of what I want to do and learn about, because... I am completely new to YouTube, to video recording and editing, uh, so a lot of it is me trying things out for the first time, and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And I do appreciate your cooperation and your understanding if things turn out quite shitty, to be uh, honest about it. So also, uh, on that note, if there's anything you guys want to know to help me produce other videos in the future, say you wanted to know about uh, the different uh, statistics here at the top, the firearms, stamina, and electronics, I have got a uh, video in mind for that, but if that's the sort of thing you want to see, leave me a comment down below. If you've got any hints and tips about... Uh, oh shit. If you've got any hints and tips about producing YouTube videos, then again, leave me a comment, because uh, I need your help as much as I plan on helping you guys out. Uh, say you want with whatever you want to know. So, again, sorry, <laughs> uh, as you can tell, all this commentary is recorded live whilst I'm playing, so when things try and murder me, I tend to get a bit... Uh, Get a bit dis distracted. 
So, yeah, uh, these going back to the mission now. As you see, I wasn't expecting those guys to be at the bottom of the stairs then. Uh, this is the first area you come into. You, you encounter these guys down here, and then you there's one guy at the top all the time. You, know, you can tell by the way he's shooting me. Oh, wait. If you patch me into the On normal, it's uh, fairly easy, to, fairly simple to run through this, because obviously this is the first mission you do. So they aren't aiming to make it entirely impossible for a single player. Um, also, when you're running through it, there's no point in doing it on hard. It only gives you a higher level item at the end of the mission. It doesn't improve your um, it doesn't improve your, the credits you earn or the experience you earn, which at these early levels is what you're prim primarily after. So, for your first time running the mission, uh, make sure you always go through on normal. It helps with leveling up faster and the, well, the stuff like that. Let's see what I can find. Can you see the CCTV feed? Yeah. Looks like Candle and her staff are being forced to treat their wounded. That's the only reason they're still alive. It looks like they've got people upstairs in a restaurant. Cover. You should be able to pick them off without making yourself a target. See, the, <laughs> that's their not so gentle reminder that this is very much a cover based shooter. Or, cover, well, sorry, that was the wrong words to use. This is very much that you need to use cover in this game. You will quickly die if you don't use cover. And. Ooh. Additional hostiles detected. Additional hostiles detected. Wow, my aim is appalling. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, yeah, there we go. Morning. Additional hostiles detected. Call that one a bit close. <laughs> in the at Kobe's. So, like I've said, I've tried to do record this a few times, so I've already went through it once. After you've uh, finished and gone through the mission, you unlock the ability to have this uh, first aid skill. It is a very good idea to put this on as soon as you get it. Because if you're like I am here, uh, I've just picked one up, but I didn't have any med kits, and my health is low, so it's just a way of keeping yourself in just in good condition. You, there's a cooldown on everything on this game, so you can't use a med kit and then expect to use another one again. I think it's better my folks didn't live to see any of this, but. Then I think about all the people doing their best to keep going. That's who we do this for, Agent. Go get them. Okay, so this is the next area after you've finished with that room downstairs. Uh, if it's your first time up here, then always head to this door here. If you've got, if you manage to pick up any lock picks. Make sure to use it, because on the other side of this door is a large crate. Um, you won't have the level to do it, because if you see if I go in here now, I start dying. You start running out of oxygen. 
Uh, but what you do have, you have enough time to run through here. Keep legging it. Now, I've already done it, but this chest here, you have to go to this chest, open it, grab the stuff out. You won't make it out, you'll, eh, you'll, you'll get your hands on some good gear, which is uh, very important in the game. You want to get as much stuff as you can. Uh, so, I'd also like to drop one big piece of advice as well, for whilst you're still doing story missions. At the end of every story mission, you'll get around 700, I think it is, 600 or 700 uh, individual wing points, so either for your medical, your security, or your technology wings. Do not use all of these to purely upgrade the low-cost, uh, low-cost Sorry, he was pushing me in. Uh, the low cost, how do I put it? Low upgrades is what the word I'm looking for. Because each wing has a 1000 point upgrade. These are your signature abilities, and it's a good idea to save up and get hold of these when you can. Otherwise, you'll be in the position I was in with my main character, where you've completed the story mission. You've got no upgrade points left, and you're left farming the encounters, which only give you 60 points, as opposed to the 600 you get for a for a story mission, which you only get once. So yeah, don't go blowing your points, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you probably didn't need to use as many words as that, but yeah, don't go blowing all your points on the first ability, for the first upgrade you see. Always uh, think about what you need and plan ahead. Fire from the roof. They can't move until you get up there and take down that gunner. We're pinned down. There's no way we'll make it across alive unless someone can get up there and take out the big escort. We have an agent on the roof. Has Candle made it to your position? Affirmative. She and her staff just arrived. As soon as the hostiles on the roof are gone, we'll get her across safely. So this is the boss area up here, just up these stairs, and as you can see there in the right hand corner, this is a no respawn zone. So even if you're playing with a team, uh, with a few friends, and you go down, you're going to be left down until a teammate can revive you, uh, or you all die, at which point you spawn back at the checkpoint at the bottom of these stairs, or someone manages to kill the boss and all the enemies, at which point you feel pretty shitty that you couldn't have been of any use. So here we are. That's the boss up there. Hutch. Good old Hutchy Hutch. Uh, he is a rocketeer, as you can see from the symbol next to his name. It means he's got a light machine gun, uh, a big affinity for grenades, and messing your shit up. Start off with always take care of the little guys because Hutch won't move yet, really, he won't shoot you. Not until you take out those first few guys. Now he'll move down and he'll start trying to suppress you, but he won't actually move down to the ground level yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. See, there it is. He's just trying to push me in, suppress me a little bit. 
even still, it's a very good. It's really important. I don't know. How I managed to do that. Yeah. That you take out those batsmen. They will destroy you, push you back, keep on you, and just ruin your day. That's the mission. You're guaranteed a green when you complete it on normal. And he'll also drop uh, at least two or three items of green of green quality or higher. And you head on out this way. So, and so after you finish the mission, you'll be told to go and seek Jessica Kendall, the scientist, the, sorry, not the scientist, the uh, doctor slash scientist that you just rescued from in there. So just head over back into the base of operations. I won't have the uh, I won't have the thing to be able to see him. I had a few issues, like I said. It's part of noise, but I don't see why you have to walk through here. And just this way, there she is. You'll be told to speak to her around here. And then after that's done, that cutscene's done. You'll, uh, you'll be told to unlock the clinic. You can't unlock any of the other ones. It will have to be the clinic to begin with. And you'll also have these points that you see up in the top left. 760 points that I've got there. So, with that, you then choose which ones you'll get from here. But I'll leave that for now. I'll show that off in another video. Uh, but for now, guys, this has been Mix287. And thank you for watching.